everybody, welcome to the online interview of the Media Expert. Very excited about our guest today, my friend, Mr. Francois Magneux, founding partner of Archetype Group, Group Director of Real Estate and Infrastructure and Managing Director of Archetype Vietnam. Seems having a lot of job. Welcome to the Media Expert, Francois. Thank you, Mauro. I'm here. So with more than 1,000 employee, Archetype Group is one of the largest construction consultancy firm in Asia Pacific with a service in architecture, master planning, building and infrastructure engineering, construction and cost management. The expertise cover different areas and different sectors, but of course, hospitality is one of the main um, sectors. So today, Francois will talk a bit about how they are doing this period and what they see in terms of coming in, in the future. So let's say, Francois, from the first question, how you guys are moving, how you're coping with this, and how you're making the best out of this period. Okay, so um, we, we, we saw this COVID situation happening since uh, uh, basically December, and we organized ourselves very uh, carefully on home working. We make some tests and, and organize uh, technically, and then when it we, when it came to do it, we did it. And everybody, our 15 Asian countries are home working, except Vietnam, we reopened the office this morning. Uh, but we discovered that home working is quite flexible, quite productive, and it gives us a vision of the future being that we could increase our team in home working and decrease our office space and create different environment where office space will be more like reception, client meetings, technical meetings, and, and production will be more spread on home working. So this uh, uh, bad luck gave us, in fact, a uh, good luck experience for the future. Good. And you guys are busy. How do you see some slowdown in the project? You see new project coming? <laughs> We are in fact busy. Uh, a, a lot of our clients has confirmed uh, their uh, development, made mostly in design, uh, for sure. Uh, site project management is quite uh, uh, slowed down because of all the, the, the city slowed down in Asia, but some sites are still undergoing. Uh, so we are still busy, uh, still delivering, still paid. Uh, a bit difficult to get paid as usual, but a, a bit more now. But uh, when you when you insist, uh, you got paid. So I think we are going uh, well. We have been taking a decision, uh, a cold business decision, like everybody is doing at the moment, like removing or putting some people in a suspension to take them back after. So we did our normal job in a crisis, um, but we are doing quite well. And, and you guys have a different office. Uh, every country is pretty much the same, or some countries are doing a bit better than others? We, we have uh, 15 Asian countries. They are, uh, some are booming, like Cambodia. Cambodia, it seems that they, they did not have any virus, or they think they did, they did not. But so bo booming in Cambodia. China restarting, definitely. Uh, Vietnam uh, uh, impacted, but still busy. And the other country in Asia, like, uh, uh, mostly slow down uh, and, and all, all the project basically on hold, but in all this country, we still have a turnover going on. So we are quite okay for the moment. Excellent. Okay, so looking into the future a bit, recovery. Um, Sometimes I ask questions on what they think about the market recovery, to tourists coming back, uh, real estate recovery. What's your just general opinion into the future? So the months to come, but also probably next week. So my opinion, if we talk about hospitality, uh, you know I'm talking like you to, to many players in hospitality. I'm talking about Vietnam especially, or Southeast Asia and, 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 and Vietnam. Uh, when you talk to Vietnamese developers, investors in hospitality and operators, they all think that uh, Vietnam did so well with the various uh, uh, management that they could be one of the first countries to receive the flow of tourists when they will be able to fly again. So they are all betting on that. And we receive a lot of requests of new projects, uh, at least uh, 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 as much as before, um, to design new resorts, new city hotels all over Vietnam. 
uh, and we receive some requests from operators to find some new projects. So it, it seems that uh, listening to the market that the hospitality could be, uh, I mean, a, a good business for Vietnam in the next coming months if people can fly again. So you would all come back with the infrastructure and, and, and visa policy. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we, we heard a few things and, and, and looking into the real estate generally, do you think besides hospitality, we will see uh, new people buying apartment again, new construction coming? So do you feel that after a few months, if Vietnam keep controlling that well, we'll all be back as if uh, we were before? I don't see why the real estate would be impacted. Uh, the, the buying power of people is still there. If, even if there is a slowdown in the economy, uh, it would take a few months to recover, but I don't, I don't see why the real estate would be much impacted in six months, for example. Okay, good. That's, that's exactly what we need. A lot of positivism around, a lot of positive people that say, Let's see the recovery coming soon. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Francois, for, 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 having, for, for okay. coming here today with us. Uh, as you know, we do a lot of webinars, we do a lot of events, so hopefully we'll have you join in one of our events and, and keep sharing uh, a, a good, good news around. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.